so we can solve this question here we can see that the equation of the ellipse is given as x square by 25 plus y square by 16 that is equal to 1 We have to find the area which is bounded by this ellipse. So we can draw the approximate graph of the ellipse. That will be this is x equal to uh, sorry, this is the x axis. This is the y axis. And the ellipse will be somewhat like this. And we have to find the total area which is enclosed by this ellipse. So since we know that the ellipse is, is having the center at the origin and it is symmetric both about x-axis and about the y-axis. Ellipse is symmetric, symmetric about both the axis, both the axis, x and so, if we can find the area of the region which is included in the first quadrant, if we can find the area, this is A1, suppose, then the total area which is enclosed by the ellipse, that will be equal to 4 times of that, 4 times of A1, that is 4A1. So, first we can find A1. How? First, uh, simply we can integrate it along the X. So, we will use integral y dx. So, it means y I have to express it as a function of x. Now, we will solve it and we will see that y square by 16 equals to 1 minus x square by 25. So we can write this as y square equal to 16 by 25 times 25 minus x square. So, we can write like this. So therefore, y will be plus or minus 4 by 5 square root of 25 minus x square. I don't know. So, here we should, for the first quadrant, we should take only the positive sign. It means that y equals to 4 by 5 square root of 25 minus x square. Since y in the first quadrant, both x and y values are positive. So, therefore, we have to do, we have to find A1 first. So, it will be uh, integral y dx, where, and here, see, the x coordinate of this point, where it intersects the x axis, that is obviously, so if we solve it, suppose, if you want the x coordinate, then we have to put y equal to 0. If we put y equal to 0, then we get x square equals 25, which means, x will be equal to plus or minus 5. It means this point is minus 5 comma 0 and this point is 5 comma 0. It means x is going from 0 to 5. The first quadrant. Okay, so. so integral y ds, it means the function of x, this is the required function of x. It means we have to do 4 by 5 times square root of 25 minus x square into dx. Now x is going from uh, 0 to 0 to 5. Okay, so that will be equal to 4 by 5 times integral uh, so root over 25 minus x square into dx. That will go from 0 to 5. So that will be 4 by 5 times of the integral 25 minus x square. So, as we know that, we know that, uh, we know that the formula of integral root over a square minus x square dx, that is what, that is x by 2 root over a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse x by a plus c of this one. So here it will be, since it is a definite integral, so we don't need this c actually. So simply put there, that is, um, so it will be x by 2 root over 25 minus x square 
plus 25 by 2 sin inverse x by a, a is 5. So that will go from 0 to 5. So that will come as 4 by 5. It's a1. A1, a1 will come as 4 by 5. So if we put 5 here, then also this factor will become 0. And if we put 0 also, this factor will become 0. So it means we will get first is 25 by 2 sine inverse 5 by 5, that is sine inverse 1. Minus we have to do that is uh, um, 25 by 2 sine inverse 0. So sine inverse 0 is 0. So simply we have to do 4 by 5 times 25 by 2. So sine, now sine inverse 1 is 5 by 2. So that will be equal to 5 5s are 25, 2 2s are 4. So 5 pi square units. So 5 pi square units will be the answer. So the final answer. No, sorry, sorry, this is not the final answer. Uh, actually, oh, I'm sorry, this is um, there is something wrong. This is, um, this is A1 which you got actually. <laughs> this is the value of A1 which you got. But the answer, as we told, that is 4A1. So that will be 4 times 5 pi. That will be 20 pi square inch. This is the final answer. So it will be option A. Option A is the correct answer. Thank you.